Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you three different methods on how you can make your Mac talk to you. The first method is the system preference method, so let's go ahead and try that out. You go to your Apple menu, you go to system preferences, you go to dictation and speech, and in here you simply select speak selected text when the key is pressed. And note that the current key is the option and the escape key. The option key is located on the lower left hand corner of your keyboard and the escape is at the high left hand corner of your keyboard. So let's give that a try. Here I have a PowerPoint file. I'm going to highlight how to make your Mac talk and now I'm going to select first the option key and then I'm going to press down the escape key. Let's see what happens. How to make your Mac talk. So as you can see it only spoke the text that was highlighted. If I go back to the system preferences and I select a different voice from Karen and let's say I decide Fiona who is a Scottish lady let's go back here and see what that sounds like again the highlighted text I'm clicking the option and the escape key how to make your Mac talk so as you can see it will switch based on what the default um, voice is in your system preferences another item that you can uh, turn on here is to announce alerts when they're displayed and then you have an option to select what voice is going to be used for the alerts and what phrase. There's quite a few phrases here but you can also edit the phrase list and put one in that you would like. So you click the add button and you can say hi there and hit OK and then you can select it from the pull down now and let's hit play and see how that sounds. Hi there, hello, my name is Daniel. I am a British English voice. As you can see, you can also change the rate of the voice or how it's delayed over here. Um, another item that you can uh, do is set the clock to announce the time. If you hit the open date and time preferences over here, you can select um, when you want the voice to speak. You have to checkbox this over here, announce the hour, and then you can customize which voice you want. In my case, I've chosen Zarvix. Let's see what that sounds like. That looks like a peaceful planet. There you go. So that's Zarbix. So that's a pretty cool way of uh, doing multiple items in this area. Another item that you can do over here is to select more voices than what's listed. If you go down to the bottom and you click Customize, you can actually check box whichever voices that you would like to download. Here was the Zarbix we just listened to. So if I wanted, for example, uh, the Whisper or the Pipe Board again or Good News, I would simply select it and uh, then it would download. But if I want to see which ones I actually want, because they do take up space, so we don't want to waste space for nothing, I can select uh, that and click play to hear Congratulations, it. You did. So as you can see, uh, checkboxing those would automatically download them, unchecking them would get them off your computer and not available. So those are the different options that are available from the system preferences. Let's go on to the next one, which is for text edit. Now, in text edit, the way to do it is you highlight some text in the application text edit, which is free. You go to your applications folder. It's sitting in there under text edit. If you don't know how to get to it, go to the Go menu, select applications, and from applications, when that opens, look for text edit and open it. At that point, um, we're going to try that out right now. So I have some text here um, on the desktop, which is in text edit. I'm going to highlight the first line of the text and then I'm going to go to the edit menu and I'm going to go to speech and I'm going to click start speaking. In the ancient city of London on a certain autumn day in the second quarter of the... So as you can see it only spoke the text that was highlighted. If I had selected more text it would have spoken more. You can select all the text from the document and let it speak but it will always use the default voice that you have selected in the system preferences. So keep that in mind whichever voice you want to use would have to be selected here okay and that's the voice that it would be using but it could be a lot of fun if you have laryngitis because if you create a document and you type in hi how are you <clears throat> and you highlight it and you click edit and you click speech start speaking hi how are you so you can actually have a conversation with somebody just by hitting return and keep clicking the start speaking so that's uh, the way you do it in text edit which can be a lot of fun the next method uh, that we're going to show you is the say command. 
you'll need to open the terminal, which is this application here. The way you get to the terminal is you go to Utilities, and you select the Terminal app from Utilities right here. Once you open that up, uh, you will be able to do some interesting things. So the first Hi thing... there. Do you want to keep this new document untitled? So that was an alert that we set from before. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to click Say, and then let's just say Hello. Hello. So as you can see, the Say command is unspoken. It is the command that tells the computer to say the word Hello. Let's try something a little bit more advanced. Let's go to this one, and I'll put all of these commands in my comments area so you can try them out and change them as you I like. I love Mac tips. There you go. So again, the save command, uh, the say command, then the space, then I love Mac tips. You can add to it the word now. I love Mac tips now. So, or you can make them smaller or just have one word. So in this case, it doesn't matter whether there's spaces in between. Um, you can obviously uh, type what you want. Now, another option the say command has and the terminal has the ability is to change the voice. As you can see, the voice of Fred was used. Uh, so the minus V that I added to the save, save command and put the word space Fred allows it to speak in a different voice. So let's try that again. I love Mac tips. So as you can see, the text this time is in quotes. You need to do that if you're using the minus V. So the minus V talks about the voice. Let's go to more advanced. Let's do the rate of the voice, and let's this time around change. I love Mac tips. So that was the say command with the minus V, and then Kathy as the voice, space, minus R for the rate of speech, which was 20. And then, of course, it was quoted into I love Mac tips. But we're going to change now the 20 to 200. And I love Mac tips. As you can see, it's much faster. So that's pretty cool. The next one we're going to try to do is we're actually going to have the terminal read the text file that I have on my desktop called prints. Now, as you can see, um, we're going to use the voice of Daniel. Uh, minus F is the new part of this. So we have the say, space, minus V for voice, and the selection of the voice is Daniel, space, minus F for the file, and then the path to the file that I would like it to speak. We're going to use control C to stop it, but let's hit return and see what happens. In the ancient city of London, on a certain autumn day in the second quarter of the 16th century. A okay, I just used control C, as you can see there, uh, to stop it. So it was reading the whole text file. Well, that could really be fun, especially if you could make that whole text file into an audio file. Well, you can. Here's how you do it. There's an minus O. Uh, which we're going to do right here, which we're going to use that same file we have on our desktop, and we're going to paste it here, and it's already starting to do it. So let's take a look at the command. It says say space minus v space Daniel space minus r space 20, which is the rate, space minus o for output, space and the path to where um, I would like them to save the AIFF audio file, then we do another space, we do the minus F for the file, a space, and then where the file is located. That's the command. Now, I'm going to copy and paste that into the comments area, and you can use that same file format um, in order to make the audio file. If you're not sure of the path of your file, um, simply drag your text document to your terminal just like this, and it will give you your path. You could copy and paste that into the command if you're not quite sure. So let's go take a look at that audio file that it created. Um, it would be in my music folder, because that was the path I did, and here it is. Let's open that In the up. ancient city of London, on a certain... Now, as you can see, it's actually reading it from iTunes. So you can actually take that audio file and put it on your iPhone or put it on uh, your iPad and actually practice a speech you have to give or just simply be able to create audio files from... Um, you know, maybe a screenplay or something you found on the internet that you wanted to listen to. So these are ways you can do it and also control which voice it is done in. So that's uh, the three different tips on how to do the Macs. I've got one more to show you, which is how to make your Mac sing. Now there are a couple of ones that are built in, so you can't do too much with these, but you do use the say command, and the say command would not be complete without showing you at least a few of these. 
So here we go. I hit command period to stop it. And let's do one more. We'll take this one here. Again, I'm going to put all of these in the comments for you so you can try all of them out. Oh, this is a punky song, punky song, punky song. This is a punchano song. And the last one that I'll show you is one that you might be familiar with. Let's see. Here it is. So this is another one that works. <laughs> Well, congratulations. Everyone who's been watching this video has now graduated in how to use the say command and how to make your Mac talk. Great job, everyone. Hope you try out these tips. It was a lot of fun putting this together for you. If you have any ways uh, that you like to have the Mac talk that I didn't show you on the videos, please share them. Love to hear about them. Hope you enjoyed the video and get started and get your Mac talking. Have a good one. Thanks for listening.